Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rotate labels and text boxes in Microsoft Access with the vertical setting. I get asked this question quite frequently. People want to know if it's possible to rotate either labels or text boxes in Microsoft Access. Now, it's possible to rotate them 90 degrees using something called the vertical setting. Now, this will work the same way for labels and text boxes, and it works in both forms and reports. So let me show you how to do it. Let's go into form design view here. And let's say we've got two different sets of address fields. We got billing and we got shipping. Okay, so I'm going to take all these guys and slide them over just a little bit. All right, and I'll bring these ones down just a hair. All right, let's put a billing label right over here going vertically. So I'll copy any one of these guys, copy, paste, and I'll put the word billing in here like that. And then go to the other tab and find a vertical and change that to yes. And you'll see what it does is it rotates the text in there 90 degrees. Is that 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. And then you can, uh, you can center it, center the text inside that label and resize it like so. We do that and we'll slide it right up over here. All right. Make it the same height as that stuff. And let's move it over just a touch more. Just a little bit. There we go. All right. And click on it. And let's go to uh, give it a background color, maybe a dark blue, and then a foreground color of white. And bold it if you want to. Maybe change the size. All right. See that? There's your billing. And then shipping, we'll just copy these fields, right? Copy, paste, paste them down below there. And we'll just change this one to shipping. Remember, click on it and then change it over here in the tab. Otherwise, it'll resize that label. Change that to shipping. Maybe go with dark red. Like that. Oh, it's purple. Okay, good enough. The same thing works with text boxes too. If you want to go to text boxes and turn the vertical to yes, although I really don't know why you'd ever want to do that. I've never wanted to type in text vertically, although this might work well in a report because you can do this in a report too. You want your text to go vertically inside of a report. Okay. And of course, if this is a separate set of fields, don't forget to change where these are bound to. You'd have, you'd have billing address and shipping address in your table. So you'd want to change that control source there. Now, can you rotate them the other way? Nope. Can you rotate them 180 degrees or 45 degrees? Nope. That's it. You get one change, vertical. It's basically a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Now, in my research for this video, there are some third party ActiveX controls and some plugins I found that you can use that will allow rotation at pretty much any angle. I have not tried these, so I can't speak for them. Some of them are on some pretty reputable sites like MVPs and stuff, so go Google search it and find them if you want to. I personally don't like to use third-party plugins. I like to use only the controls that are part of Microsoft Access for several reasons, most of which being if you're planning on distributing this or sharing it in your office and you want to give other people copies of this database, they have to have exactly the same controls installed on their systems, and that can become a nightmare for distribution. So if it's just you and you want rotated you know, controls, go right ahead, install whatever plugins you want. Now, can you make labels that look rotated if you just want that on a report or on a form? Sure, but you can't do it in Access alone because, of course, Access is the redheaded stepchild of Microsoft Office. So you can do this with Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, but you can't do it with Access. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's Microsoft Word. Okay, and if you want to create a label that's rotated, basically, we're going to insert under Shapes. I'm going to find this one right here. That's text boxes. All right, then draw a text box out. Okay, and say, you know, fancy label like that. All right, resize it and center it and change font, bold, whatever you want to do, right? Make it, uh, let's make it dark blue. Let's change the background color to like, uh, I don't know, yellow, All right? Make it a little bigger maybe. Okay. And there we go. Okay. 
You can put a shadow behind it if you want. Whatever, whatever you know, fancy effects you want to use. That's fine. Here, we'll put a shadow. We'll go down to the right like that. Okay, looks pretty neat. Now, you can't just copy and paste this guy over to Access Watch. If you copy this and you go over to Access and you try to paste it in here, it comes in weird. It comes in as an OLE unbound object, which you don't want that. It'll look nasty, trust me. So we're going to undo that, get rid of that. What you are going to do is you're going to screen capture it and paste it in there as an image. Okay, now if it's not rotated at all, that's pretty straightforward. You can use the Windows uh, uh, clipping tool, which I got another video on how to use that. I'll put a link to it down below in the link section. If you haven't used that before and you don't know how to do a screen capture, I personally like to use a program called Hypersnap. And again, I'll include a link to that. So we'll just take our little screen capture of it. Just get that label as exact as you can. All right, I'll, I'll ignore the shadow for now. We'll talk about the shadow in a second here. All right, there we go. Come on back over here to access, click and paste, and there's our fancy label. That looks pretty good, right? I'm going to click on it and go to special effects, and we'll just make that flat so it doesn't look like it's sunken. Save it, close it, open it back up again, and okay, it looks pretty good, but it's not rotated. What happens if we rotate it? Well, design view. Can't rotate it in here again because, you know, access. Access is a wonderful program. It really is. But I, I hate when Microsoft gives cool kinds of features to the other Office apps, Excel and PowerPoint and Word, but th they leave access out all the time. All right, so we're going to click on this, and we're going to simply rotate it just a little bit. Okay, but now if we screen grab it, okay, you got to screen grab a square, of course, and then we paste it in here. All right, you got that white background. And there's no way in Access to pick a transparent color, again, like you can do in Word and Excel and PowerPoint. So what we have to do is we have to kind of cheat. We're going to screen capture the color that we want for this background form and bring that over to Word, like this area right here. All right, so save it, and then open up the form like this. Use your screen capture tool. Screen grab a blank section where we're going to put that label. Okay, come on over to Word. Paste that in the background. See that? And now, just move this label over that, like so. Okay. Now, do a screen capture. Get the square. Come back over to Word. Design view. Word, no access. <laughs> All right. And then paste it in there. And there's your fancy label. And again, you got to turn off the, the stuff. Let's go to uh, special effect. We might have to match the color, too, because if we go flat here... And the border, let's see. Yeah, the border width is going to be hairline, but it's still going to be there because you can't have it. You can't have it completely gone. So watch. If you save this, close that, open it up, you're still going to see that little teeny tiny border. You got to match the border color too. So right click, design view, click on this guy. The border color is background one darker. Let's get the forms background color, which is right here. It's accent five lighter eighty, or you can use actual colors if you want. Click on that. Go to the border color and paste it in there, and that should match up. I don't like using theme colors, but in this particular case, that's what we got. Okay, and now we'll go like this, and then we'll go like that. Save it, close it, and open it up. And Oh, I'm still seeing some stuff there. Hold on. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's the border color. Change this here. Let's see if that does it. There we go. Got to change the background color and the border color. And now it's gone completely. And you can see we matched up the color pretty closely. So that's a trick you got to play. You know, if you want a rotated label. Some people do, some people don't. I, I personally have never needed one, but I get asked this a lot. So I figured I'd make a fast tip video for you about it. So there you go. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Post them down below. We'll see you next time.